Hey guys, and welcome to San Francisco. Amy asks, Have you ever seen ink erasers? They're also known as sand erasers, and they erase the ink. They're so future, and I need to get one. So I said, You are the first I am hearing about sand erasers. I am not sure what I think about them yet, as it sounds like it may be something that sands down your paper, like sandpaper on wood, to remove the top layer with the ink on it. I was intrigued, as there was not a lot of research done. I ordered a few different kinds from Amazon. Video review coming up. That was too much to know, but here's the video. I didn't do any research on what the best and were. I really just, whatever they had in this, I purchased it. $17 later, I have those now. Charles Leonard Ink, I've never heard of it. I suppose it's some sort of off-brand Stedler Mars Plastic. It has a weird plasticky type of blue stuff. The Tombow Sand Eraser by Mono, I definitely use that for erasers only. It has sand texture. And then the last thing that you don't see in the show is the Papermate pen with erasable ink. And it's a white plastic eraser. So I knew I would do line art, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do architectural something or flowers or something else but then we had an artist come in from Boulder and actually the woman who wrote the grant for the media archaeology lab um, talked to us about the machines. If you want to check out some of the references or just what else they have in the lab you can click on the logo here. And no I am not sponsored by them. So a couple of different kinds of machines that you're going to see through the speed paint are going to be the Apple One, the Apple Two E, the Apple Lisa. Um, let's see, there's an iMac. There is a kind of a couple other kinds that I've never even heard of before, but I kind of recognize here and there. There's an IBM. There's a Nextel. Like, is that even a thing? I don't know. Something. There's something that's called a Next. I just thought that these old machines were so cool, and I really hope that they would bring a little bit of nostalgia from the old iMac to the classic Nintendo console. Um, I was just so enthralled with the shape and the architecture of the machines, and how representative of the times that they were made in. So the 70s, you can totally tell which ones were in the 70s, and you can totally tell which ones were in the 80s. I went straight in with the pen. I didn't use any pencil or anything. I used the Studler Tripless Fine Liner. It is a set of 10, and I believe I used all the colors. And I really wanted to have color palettes on each of these machines that were a little bit different. I didn't want to use the same two colors on any of the machines or same three colors. So I used like pink, green, and blue on one, and red and blue on one. On the iMac, I love the iMac. I think that one is so cool. You know that red and blue kind of makes me think of like 3D stuff, and so seeing that together reminds me of the 90s, and I think that's just so perfect for the iMac. I wanted to use the liner to make this video a little bit more interesting than just doing swatches. And I'm not exactly reviewing these erasers. Like, I don't actually tell you what my opinions are of them. I'm more just doing a comparison so that you can draw your own conclusions at the end. So basically what I did was I took my pens and I wanted to draw a little bit on each strip of, uh, of the different kind of paper and I wanted to have four sections designated horizontally on this paper that I was going to use the different erasers on. So I wanted to make sure that there would be a little bit of ink in each of those sections on each of those pieces of paper. And at the end I actually used the erasable pen to draw those lines and I also wanted to see how each of those erasers erased that line, if at all.
put together a piece of paper made out of watercolor paper, bristol paper, cardstock, regular drawing paper, sketch paper, printer paper, newsprint, vellum, and tracing paper. Just ordered a bunch of different kinds. I don't know why I put it up here. We're not sponsored. We're 